ericmoavetmother.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Intel. And we are looking at this from the period of 1999 on a weekly chart to, let's say, about 2001. Reason being that we can see here that there was a breakout. Stock moves from about 20, goes all the way as high as 50, and then makes a round trip all the way back to 20. Now what I want to take a look at is this high here and here. There's so much on this chart, but I just want to take a look at the high. Now, recently I've been saying this, that whenever you see a stock move above 69.1, that is not the high, especially if you find support at the RSI 50 level. This is generally, this move here means that the stock was very strong for a period of a couple of weeks, which means that all these people buying here are anticipating this move. Again, we can see that this period where the stock spent a couple of weeks above 69.1, suggest that that is not the high, especially if you hold above the RSI 50. Because all these people here who are buying during this phase are anticipating higher highs. Or at least that's what the chart is saying. Now, if you take a look at the eventual high, you can see that for a major high to take place, you need to see negative divergence improvement on a week-to-week -week basis to new highs but we can see that this is at the expense of the technicals where we make lower highs in other words the RSI does not confirm the breakout here does not confirm the improvement to new weekly highs every subsequent move to new highs especially the ultimate weekly closing high here comes at the expense of the RSI making a lower high and again whenever you see a major high normally there has to be evidence of negative divergence either on the monthly or on the weekly sometimes it's gonna show up on the daily but you want a major high to be confirmed by negative divergence on one of the major time frames the daily but more often it's going to be on the weekly or on the monthly chart. Now something else about this high here and the RSI behavior. Whenever you see a stock make a new high on a weekly closing basis, on a daily or whatever, and the RSI struggles to move above 61.8, this tends to be the worst type of negative divergence. So we can see that as it made an improvement here to at the time which were all time weekly closing highs, RSI fails to move above 69.1, 61.8, excuse me, 61.8. So with the RSI failing to move above 61.8, this was a major warning sign. Now something else also I should point out here is there's also this idea that Intel was trying to break out and the breakout failed. Again, whenever you see a failed breakout, it is the market telling you that there is no momentum or that the instrument has run out of energy. So the failed breakout on a weekly basis was another warning sign. Now there's one other way of looking at this. If you take this line connecting RSI lows on the weekly, you come to a point where if you draw it that way, where we break down here, which is this warning move. In other words, we get a pullback. But take a look at what happens afterwards because we try to recapture the same line. But this line now becomes backtest failure here. So. We get resistance here, which is that high. So as we've seen here, Intel was giving a lot of red flags at the highs of August 2000 before this massive plunge. And don't forget that the market itself, as far as the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ had made its high 
on March 10th here. So the Nasdaq made a major high. Intel was trying to break out while the market, the general market, was in a downward bear market spiral. So again, we can see another reason why the breakout failed is we know that the market would stay in a downward market from 2000 to 2003. So this is the reason why this breakout failed. The general market did not have an appetite to move stocks higher. So you combine all those things, the technical aspects and the fact that the market was in a bearish trend, that's the reason why we see this major top and we get this pullback. Hope that makes sense and helps you along your journey. Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah. Woo!